Eric, do you want to count us down? In three, two. Uh. Welcome back, boys. <laughs> <laughs> to episode 12 of Backtrail. Beautiful intro from Ed over that here. That was fantastic. Oh, that was the intro. That was a oh, pretty okay. solid burp. It had some bass to it. it hey, uh, hey, uh, sound guy, turn your fucking phone on vibe. Hey, remember when you said you didn't want to be in the video? <laughs> Bitch. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad everyone's here this week. We yeah, have our yeah. <laughs> we got the whole game. I'm glad we have our usual boys here today. We have Ed to my left and Eric to my right, and yes. we have Corey on sound along with our sound dog, Luna. She's gonna oh, be your puppy. Us yeah. It's gonna be a oh. short week this week, boys. We have one like kind of repeat movie with another trailer, uh, and then the rest are all newer movies. So we're starting off with our first trailer called Poor Boy. It's with Michael Shannon, and all I know is he plays a clown. Yeah. Oh, that no. is the most I know of it. I saw a screen grab yesterday and God. I was immediately pulled in. Him is a clown. Yeah. I, I saw the. <laughs> yeah. So Another... I have no idea what we're getting ourselves into. It's like an It fanboy film. Perfect. Well, let's check it out. Oh, look, it's Tatooine. <laughs> wow. Too much that. grass. That's true. The world is strange. Oh, God. Uh, pain. I'm not going to like this. All around. Most things. This is Mad Max. Lose. Is it a cult movie? No. It's just is that Jared Leto? Bargain. That might have been. I swear I'll let you. This is totally like a, a cult movie ish. Right? Like neo Nazi movie. Are you good? Ooh. Part of that looked like Zombie Land. Yeah. Okay. This is a long place. This is buddy. not what I expected. I was you about to say that. This is not what I expected. I went back to the water and we sailed to Cali. When you think about God. <laughs> He looks, he looks silly. Someone else into the world. Those two moons. It's all this. This is Tatooine. I told you. <laughs> I told you it was Tatooine. <laughs> what the hell is this? I don't know. Do I'm this, so right? confused. He doesn't even seem like the main character. No. Well, those two guys, they definitely are. Are they Robin Banks? Or... Oh, okay. Justin Chatwin, okay. Oh, he's uh, from Shane. I know that yeah. name. Yeah. Michael Shane. I like that guy. What does he have to do with this movie? I <laughs> guess he's a rodeo clown. Oh, and yeah, he's, no, yeah. Maybe I, he's the guy they're going to rob and kill multiple all right. times. I, I, don't, no I, don't, I don't know what that was. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that it. That was not what I expected. I was expecting like a you know, comedy or if something. If someone asked me if I'm going to see that, I'll give it a solid sure. Yeah, like a, a um, considerably. Yeah. Maybe two more trailers in. I'm yeah. Trying to trying to figure out words right now. That reminds me of the Tommy Wiseau thing that's basically out now. Oh yeah. Best, best friends. Fr it has that tone. It has that tone. Yeah. I was expecting a comedy just because the image of Michael Shannon in clown makeup just makes me want to laugh. Yeah, it, yeah. it looks weird. Yeah, I mean, it, it looks, looks like one of those. Very weird. Uh, yeah, it looks like a, a you know a, a drama thriller and all that shit. So you know who knows. Those uh like crime westerns are coming back on the rise ever since like um, Hell or High Water. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I'm, you know, yeah. you know, calling me curious. I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna put it out there. I'll say it's probably gonna be a good movie. I don't know how. But it'll be good. That's fair. Uh, you know, you'll probably see it and be like, "Yeah, all right." Yeah. It'll, pro it'll probably be like a unique movie that yeah. is averagely rated by people. Yeah. I I'm curious what those visuals are because they kept saying that in the trailer, like, "Oh, the there's like one are that looked like it was like stars, but you were in the desert in the west." Yeah, I was confused. I, I, I don't know. I was what was the fuck? Uh, what was that really sad movie? Uh, with there. the oh, fuck, like the kid with cancer. I mean, there's like two kids with cancer, and they end up falling in love. Oh, oh Fault in Our Fault Stars. Our, in our yes. stars. It had that kind of like shine out star look to it, and mm. I was like, hmm. "This is odd for this, <laughs> yeah. for this like low feel for like, people they, shooting each other." Did they bang in that movie? I don't remember. They probably did at one I point. I think yes. they banged. Yes, they did. <laughs> Kudos. It was a decent <laughs> movie. Even yeah. kids with cancer bang. How nice. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> they should bang more. I don't think they were kids. They were like yeah. high school, high school like seniors. Who yeah. cares? Whatever. Well, sure. anyway, <laughs> clowns not funny. Not well. Yeah, I mean they'll they'll touch your kids. They're yeah, like, if you want to see this movie? Tell us how it is. We're jumping into a trailer called Peppermint. It's with Jennifer Gardner. Basically, from what I've gathered, this is it's a woman scorned and she's on revenge and she's murdering a lot of uh, colored people. It seems a lot of Latinos. Oh, so, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Whatever. <laughs> Let's watch it. It's no Liam Neeson. It's based on a true story. I don't. I hope not. Is that Peppermint? 
Yes. Oh, she's totally getting getting got. Yeah, she's gonna get fucking killed. This is ah. the uh, this is clearly the Electra origin story. <laughs> yup. What the fuck? Yup. Don't guns. shoot the ice they cream. Got, These fucking guys, STX and the H Brothers, they are in everything. They're Spoiler. financing all the shitty movies. Spoiler. Yeah, I've been they noticing that with a couple of trailers guns. that we've seen for the past couple weeks. It's all STX. Yeah, they're Chinese, a Chinese firm. Yo, is she gonna become like an assassin? What the fuck? <laughs> that looks like the house from Transformers. Yo, you don't get involved with the cartels, man. You just don't, you just don't fuck with that shit. And she got a haircut too. That guy. There are so many comedians in this movie. Yeah, 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 oh boy. The evidence is insufficient to hold the defendants over for trial. Because he's getting paid drug money, I'll tell you that much. Yeah. That's a lot of fucking money. And who knows? Maybe the judge is under the table too. Oh, Maybe. good for the director of Taken. I, I, was, I said yeah, that right before it started. No, you're right. This you're is right. some Liam Neeson bullshit. She's going out of Mexico and fucking shit up. Yeah. What? What? <laughs> wow. I just heard like a Jesus tune to that. Now her hair's long again. Dude, she's gonna be like female it's been John months, Wick. Man. Dude, her hair grows so Dude, quick. she's gonna be the female John Wick. And then they're gonna have a crossover in the third movie. Oh, God. Can you imagine a crossover of John Wick? Peppermint and Liam Neeson and Taken, like yeah. that three-way crossover. Oh my god, that would be. Oh They'd god. have to kill each other, right? There can only be one. Yeah. Was that the dude who got the monkey up the butt in uh, Bruce Almighty? It did kind of look like him. Okay, I'm, at least I know I'm not crazy. I think his name's Hector in like every movie. Some, something, something like that. that. Yeah. Jesus Christ, she's got a blow. People. She's the Punisher. Oh my god. Oh, this is this is gonna be an attractive movie, I'll tell you. What the All right. What the fuck? Ever? Well, this is the kind of thing. When I saw the first trailer for John Wick, I was like, eh, you know, it'll be like a shitty kind of movie. You watch it, you're like, oh my god. I want yeah, to that's kill how I feel. Yeah. yeah, you know, yeah. You snort coke and kill. I people. feel like that movie. I'm gonna be like, yo, let's fucking go, baby. Because you know, when your kid dies, fuck it. Yeah, like I'm intrigued yeah. by this. I'm not. It looks very generic, but it also has some things that look a little unique in it. What could be the saving grace of the movie is if the action is good and stylish. Oh, dude! Yes, female the, action is amazing. They had that problem or, um, earlier in the year with the the uh, Taraji P Henson movie. Uh, it was called Proud Mary or whatever. Yes. Uh, it, it had an interesting premise of a female assassin, but the action was boring as yeah, fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was pretty generic, and there wasn't anything exciting. Well, think about a uh, Atomic Blonde. Yeah. You have, like, those kind of action scenes. No matter how you saw the movie. Like, if you were like, ah, it was a shitty movie. You go back to those scenes, you're like, holy no, yeah. fuck. That, mm -hmm. That's my opinion. I did not like the story of Atomic Blonde. I thought it got too it convoluted. Was, it was decent. But the action was pretty good. But you, will, you watch those scenes, you're like, dude, this yeah. is fucking It's the John good. Wick guy. So, yeah, look, yeah, it makes sense. And the Deadpool 2 guy. So I'm hoping this will be kind of the same thing. Yeah, it's... Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's weird seeing Jennifer Gardner in this role because yeah. she did Electra and that movie was sure. a lot. Um, so I, it's, it's, hmm. I yeah, I need to see more of just how that kind of action works out because they did a lot of like standard stuff where she's walking by a car mm -hmm. and shooting people, and you know she opens a door and she shoots people, which you see a yeah, lot. It's the but, same kind of story. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's it's the same. Like it's a revenge story. They're all virtually the same for the most part. They change the motives, but it's the thing that makes them stand out. Like it's the action. Like you said, John Wick. It's a standard revenge movie, but right. the whole plot around it is this: the, the, uh, these guys killed my dog, who my dead wife sent me after she died. Now smart. I'm gonna go kill everyone. It's smart because yeah. a lot of people like dogs more than they like human a beings. A lot of people, so. yeah. Fuck humans. Dogs are great. Well, I mean, yeah. Yeah, you over there, puppy. I mean, yeah, you're, you're fine. You're not even looking at me, so she's, that's fine. Yeah, she's doing her own thing. Yeah, yo, yeah, yo, baby. Well, so. Jennifer Gardner, let's see if you can fuck me. Sure, up yeah, no, I'll definitely watch it. Uh, we're going All right, towards what is this. This is Hotel Artemis. We watched the first Red Band trailer a couple weeks ago. Was that Red Band? No. I thought it was. I don't, I don't think, think it was. I don't uh, think it was. Nah, who cares? Uh. It's a, I mean, watch our other video. You'll kind of figure out what this is about. It's a bunch of assassins in a hotel, and um, Jeff Goldblum's trying to get his diamonds back. So uh, let's check it out. <laughs> <laughs> the worst part was that wasn't on camera. <laughs> uh, 
Yes, the right. dog <laughs> fell off the chair. Fucking idiot. She's a, she's a tiny, tiny dog. Fuck at you. Fuck at you. It's okay. Showtime. That was funny. Yons is a secret hospital for criminals. Easy, Tell. Everybody's gonna get fixed up. Now verify your memberships, and we're off to the races. This thing is covered in blood. It's always covered in blood. She's fantastic. And he nice. is even more fantastic. Hey, you put your dirty boots on the sofa in your own house? Oh, hey, go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Valid point. He's in the building. You need to leave here right fucking now. I guess my ballroom days are over, baby. Tell me. Jurassic World. <laughs> this was built on trust and rules. Why don't you skip the fuck along? I'm water in LA, but it's raining assholes in here. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, I like that line. Quality joke. Topical. I don't really want to do that because I feel like we got chemistry. Away. Don't jump on my back, okay? If you do, I'm gonna fuck you up for real this time. <laughs> I'll be honest, that actually made me more excited for the movie. I think I like the energy of the first trailer more, but yes. I I um I got more of what this movie's going for with this yeah. trailer. Yes. The, the first one, I think I've just seen so many fucking times. Yeah, they, uh, they, they've also been advertising the living shit out of it this on YouTube. It just seems stupid to me after a while. And watching this, I was like, oh, well, you know, I kind of get it now. Yeah. It, yeah. it looks like a fun ride that comes out yeah. next week. Mm-hmm. Fuck. I, I'm... I'm kind of curious. It, really, it mm -hmm. comes out next week. I've always been curious. Yeah. I, yeah. Know I mean, the 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 main thing that's attracting to me this uh, to this is I want to see how this this cast of characters just mesh with each other. Yes, yes that's just like how these actors did. work with each other. That's that's the only real thing that's kind of driving yeah. me into it. And it's interesting seeing Charlie Day in more like Dude, action he, dramatic -y roles. Yeah. Like he's still being an asshole. Yeah, like it. he's still an asshole here, but. It's like more darker than you see him in like Always Sunny. Or yeah, anything like that. he's just one of those guys I like in everything. Yeah, yeah. Like the movie can be shit, but I, I just like. Like him. um, like uh, he, he was one of the things that got me interested in watching the Pacific Rim movies. Mm -hmm. yeah. He was like, "That's what I'm talking about." He was but funny. like the movies, um, uh, School Fight or whatever it was with Ice Cube. Oh and him. yeah, yeah. That yeah, movie, yeah. I don't like that movie, but I like him in that movie. No, I mean, it was just like a bullshit movie. Yeah, it was a bullshit January. But he movie. made it funny. Yeah, I I enjoy him. One of my favorite gifts is just him staring at the ca like the character, and he just raises his hand yeah. past <laughs> the frame and just goes. And he yeah. just puts it down and walks away. It's my favorite just go fuck yourself gif. Like when I'm annoyed at someone, I'll just send that gif. Or I'm just fed up with it the conversation. Uh, a next movie we're going towards is Yardi. It's it's um, Idris Elba's directorial debut. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, I know nothing about this movie. I've only Hopefully seen the poster. Hopefully it's not like Dark Tower. <laughs> I, mean, yeah. I hope not. Peace. What is this, Mowgli right here? Look at I was going to say, is this another one of those moments? Oh, he was in the Jungle Book with Disney. He was. Oh, I was just watching that yesterday. He was He's the Khan. tiger. Yeah, he's Shere Khan. Great movie. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Uh, anyway. I've said it before. Let us check out Yardi. When I was a boy, my brother would always ask me which one. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. This is a story about the part I chose. Yep. Oh, the a path I chose. Jones. I thought he said apartheid. My brother. Redemption. Deliver the goods to Rico. Man, we've seen so much coke done. today. You let me know. Mm. He yeah, runs the world, man. You don't yeah. see it, but behind the scenes, it you know, does a lot. It's like all these fucking indie movies with these washed out greens. Mm. I just like, you know, there's something about it that just feels dingy and I like it. Mm. It, it definitely so far has a unique look. Yeah, it just shows like dirty kind of lighting. It's also like very shallow depth of field too, which is kind of nice. Oh, it's based off a book. Oh god, I love their accent. Look at yourself. Well, I saw like the progression of age. I thought there's gonna be like I just Elba in there as like the oldest. That's what I was thinking. That would be awesome. <laughs> 
They have trouble. Oh, I guess Yardies is, is, is a gang. Yardies. Oh, that guy. I forget his name. We just saw him in the trailer earlier. I understand. He looks like a Brady. He does. Rico, it's good to kill you. Would have just gone back to Jamaica. This is going to be an interesting movie. Yeah. Okay. It takes place in England. A man have to choose his own path. You can't go on like this. What's up? I sent you to London so you wouldn't start a war in Kingston. Yeah. That's a, that's a crime thriller. Yeah. Cool. I, I like that kind of. I like that. Um, Ooh. They I, have I an original soundtrack, too. I would say history, Ooh. but I mean, it's a lot that's happening. But. Yeah. I, I like, like those kind of stories. I like I like the hazy anamorphic look that they gave this movie. Yeah, we um we were talking a little bit during the trailer, but we were kind of talking about the visuals for it too, and I made a little joke about some of the colors. Uh, but I, I I do kind of like the look they're going for mm -hmm. for this. It seems to be a lot of the thing these indie movies are doing. They're going mm -hmm. with the, you know like the washed out greens and a lot of like shallow depth of field look and whatnot. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling it's gonna yeah. get old, but for now I actually kind of like yeah, it. Yeah, for, it for now I'm digging for, it. It works for this because a big part of this is drugs. I think. Yeah, it, so it's like a crime haziness, movie. So it, yeah, the it, haziness works. It with totally like doing it, that. And it, it, it works. It does help with age too. Like it shows you. It helps show where it's from, like what time period. Yeah, that can help. I mean, because this looks like it's in the 70s slash yeah. like, like early 80s maybe. My guess is late 70s. But, uh, I'm hey, you know what? If, uh, finally, Idris Elba is getting down and directing something. Yeah. He's been around for a long time, so I'm sure he's, I mean, he's worked with a lot of directors. So I'm curious to see how his, how well his style holds, holds up in a directorial debut. Mm -hmm. You know, if it is um, just cohesive throughout the whole experience. That'd be kind I, think, of good. I think it'd be good. I, yeah, I I'd trust him. I'm, I'm curious now. I like the guy. I want to go support the guy. So uh, yeah, there we go. There was Yardy. Yeah, uh, takes place in London. It looks like, and the guy's from Jamaica, yeah, dealing with yeah, some crime. Yeah. Now, our last trailer for today. It's an animated movie called Duck Duck Goose. Jesus Christ, Eric talked to me about this trailer this. yesterday, yeah. and he was telling me about it, and I said we need to watch it tomorrow. Yeah. Long story short. This is a movie that you can skip this summer, is what people are saying. Mm. But when I described it to Dom, he was like, "We need to check this out. We need to check the trailer out. I have, I have, I have an obligation to our viewers <laughs> to watch <laughs> as much trailers as we can during during us, our, our Saturday show. And now we're gonna watch some filthy garbage called Duck Duck Goose. Okay. Oh, I can't wait for, for it. Thousands though. of years. They have the frogs. Okay. Like That's for Jesus Christ. That is until he came along. I know you belong to this flock. Lead the junior flyers. I can't fly with the kids. <laughs> They're childish. This is pain. It's true. He ruffles feathers. You are not family friendly. Yeah. So what's oh, the problem? Hunted that have fucker. To migrate in a V for me. Uh. But next spring, fate. Ugh. Your kids? Sure, Larry has other plans. We got separated from our flock. Can you help us or That's not? That's a lot of babies. Or not. Yeah. Holy fuck. You have no idea what you're doing, do you? They're all fucked. Good. Why do they give a baby goose, like, eyelashes? Yeah, like, like eyeliner. Like a 16-year-old girl. Yeah. What the fuck? Because she's a girl. It's weird. It's a weird choice. Oh, God. I, I don't even know what a home is. I don't remember what that is. It was uh, 16. I nailed it. It's yeah. a date. It's a uh, Jim Parsons movie. He was an alien. Oh, yeah. Now I remember. Jesus Dude, Christ. the lighting in this looks like a video oh. game. It does. Far Cry. Oh, look at that booty. They're promoting anal in this, I see. <laughs> they are promoting anal. I do. <laughs> oh, boy. So it says spring it comes out, but I think I remember reading yesterday it comes out in the fall or something. And it got pushed back to us. Well, you know, like or a, don't like August date, That's maybe. Fine. I mean, when I was looking this up on Google, there were some scores around. So I don't know if this premiered at like a festival or something. It might beforehand. have premiered at a festival. Who the fuck knows? Because this trailer looked like it came from you know August of last year. I'd never heard of it until yesterday. It just goes <laughs> to show you. Uh, yeah, well, sure. <laughs> totally. There we go. I'm so glad we watched that. There was Duck Duck Goose. Yeah, that's Clever from the, Assholes. This is from the maker of Surf's Up. 
Yeah. yeah. Who the fuck was in charge of naming that? <laughs> who who was like looking at watch the movie and was like, oh dude, I got the best idea. They they probably went to a survey group with a bunch of kids and gave them a bunch Jesus of names and they all like Duck Duck Christ. Goose because every kid knows where Duck Duck Goose is. Sure. And yeah. he's a goose and he's got two ducks with him. So yeah. if I was a kid, he's got two ducklings. I'd see this movie and be like, well, it has nothing to do with the game. <laughs> <laughs> Remember People when I'm like, calling bullshit? What the fuck, man? <laughs> I'm calling bullshit on your ass. Remember when we watched the Show Dog trailers and one of Absolutely. the things I pointed out was a problem was the fact that there was a narrator. Mm-hmm. Yes. It has this problem here. Uh-huh. It's another There's fucking, a narrator. It's, it's another a bad movie. shitty looking More kids movie with a narrator. Yep. Because even moment, like the, he knew. Fuck. Yeah. Cuz like even the Incredibles doesn't have a narrator. No. If, an, if, a narr- if there's a narrator, you're in trouble. You're in trouble. Your movie can't sell You need to explain too much. To <laughs> you everyone. have to explain to a five-year-old kid what your movie's about. I think they can I don't think they care what it's about. And they just like the pretty colors. <laughs> you're just like and the character did this. And you're like <laughs> No, I, I just saw it. Yeah, thanks, thanks. And that's when Jimmy realized they were fucked. <laughs> <laughs> well, boys, there was Duck Duck Goose. Oh, boy, that was... Um, I'm glad we decided to end yeah. this this uh, video's video. This episode. If you say yeah. a positive note, <laughs> on I'm going to kill you. On a mixed note. Yeah, there we go. That's <laughs> on a peculiar note. A that. mixed note of bullshit. <laughs> Uh, I I want to thank our special guest, uh, our dog in the background, Luna, for coming. Oh, she, she's digging in. Oh, she's she's sleeping. You're so cute. Look at your own fucking face. <laughs> well, That's boys, funny. thank you for coming. I want to thank Corey for being on our sound mix. Hey, again. Corey. I uh, can't wait for us to come back next week. Maybe we'll watch some more stupid bullshit. But uh, just remember, be good people. I bet there'll be a duck duck goose too. God, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs>